Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. April has been a big month for Linux with many new releases. I've covered Ubuntu and some of its flavors. Now I'll be covering Deepin and soon Fedora 30 will be released. With that being said, I present to you Deepin 15.10. It's been a bit over 3 months since 15.9 and the new release has finally arrived. So what's new in the new release? Well, if you were expecting visual changes, nothing's really changed, although it already looked good in the previous versions. One thing to note is that the blur effect does look slightly different now. Also, Deepin is now based on Debian Stable, hence why the store seems to say it's an adjustment, so hopefully up-to-date packages are to be expected in the future. The main focus of Deepin 15.10 is the transition to the K1 window manager with Deepin modifications to make it work nicely. Dragging and splitting applications to the corners of the screen is now possible, and overall more responsive than before. Although keep in mind that this is still newly implemented, so there may be bugs or crashes along the way until future updates patch it. As a result of switching to Kwin, the system resources are now lower and RAM usage is under a gigabyte. Although keep in mind I'm using a virtual machine, so it might be different on an actual machine. Thanks to Kwin, animations are smoother and snappier, although I can't really show the full extent of that due to the virtual machine. Apart from many bug fixes, the dock looks the same, although now you can disable the trash plugin. You can now drag icons from the menu onto the dock and remove icons from the dock by dragging them. Overall, the movement of icons on the dock has been much improved. For the desktop, there is now a slideshow option with various settings, although it would be nice to be able to somehow apply this feature only to a certain set of wallpapers instead of all of them. There's also an auto merge feature by right clicking on the desktop which helps organize files. The control center is basically the same but with a new feature which lets you adjust each sound option separately. This is a nice touch as you don't have to get rid of the sounds you want to keep in order to get rid of the ones you don't want. The file manager now has a disk burning function, advanced search, and the display of the address bar at the top has, has been changed. Overall, it's a great decision that Deepin switched to using Kwin so that the performance and animations can be improved. Lots of bugs have been fixed, although expect to still encounter some as the transition to Kwin is new. The only complaints about this new version is that the new blurb doesn't look as appealing as the previous one and is a bit too transparent in the menus, and that the Deepin Dark GDK theme hasn't changed to match the dark theme of the native applications but in the future the native applications will be able to change to follow the GDK theme so that's not really that important. Well that's ba basically been it for this release, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.